right, I got my coffee. We got a little bit of action tonight, guys. No shortage of bicycles in this hood. The number one mode of transportation. When you've been convicted of drunk driving or narcotics, and you don't have a pot to piss in, you join one of the biker gangs here, and that's your mode of transportation. What's going on, everybody? What is your mode of transportation? Let's get somewhere where it's a little uh, cooler. I need to have my cup of coffee. This allergy's been terrible. I thought allergy season was over. Oh, my, it's just crazy 88 degrees look at it this way though I could be in Las Vegas at 111 right now Woo! oh well thank you I'm gonna do more of those videos you know I'm glad you enjoyed that we got some um, you know, people have said you know the Rosie Murphy channel is fine but you need to be more mainstream with some of your opinions and because I have a, a variety channel I can do what the hell I want to do right and I get really pissed off sometimes when these talking heads are like oh you just don't you know you got to work for a company that values you as an employee I mean what what are your head your your head's on the moon man your head's on the moon there's only so many ways that you can make a French fry exciting in the fry basket, right? How you doing, everybody? Yeah, I do what the hell I want to do, right? Um, yeah, so I think that was a damn good video today, and people have responded to that. So once in a while, I'm going to open up my pie hole, and I'm going to tell you what's really going on. The inconvenient truths of today's macroeconomic environment keep blowing up that money supply people won't have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of so how you doing everybody I'll acknowledge everybody when I get in the shade somewhere and just have a cup of coffee it's been an extremely busy day <sighs> lots to talk about we got we got some more money tonight to find we got some more money I hope it's not a um, well, things have panned out okay for me. It's always worth it. You know, we go to the cemetery. We have a good time. Uh, the Santa Rosa Royal Cemetery. We can't go until it's twilight, though. That's one of the requirements here. So, hope everybody's doing good. Uh, doing good tonight. Let's go down to the railroad station. See what's going on. Uh, you may think it's transitory, but uh, there's nothing transitory about the debt level and the something very radical in an economy that 10-year uh, uh, rates are now falling again it's there's something extraordinarily rotten in there extraordinarily nothing's responding to the usual that's why retail sales are starting to dip that, uh, that uh, stimulus money spent man spent spent you know what since I delayed going to Vegas until next uh, Sunday, you know what the room the room rates during the week are cheaper than they were during the pandemic last year. Let me repeat that again. Across the board, I can't. Hi, Bella Rose. I did see you. How you doing, beautiful? Uh, can't really see anybody right now, but I'll acknowledge everybody. Uh, could not believe it. Could not believe it. How you doing, Quirky? How you doing, Quirky? I'm not a big person to call. I give you all your support on here, honey. I just don't tool into people's personal lives and stuff a lot. It's just not my nature, but you know I love you. And every night we shout you out and hope that you get better and better and better and better. I think we'll get something to park up there. I don't think so. a caller I'm just sorry I just don't pick up the phone just uh, even people I've known I don't think I've talked to Bobby on the phone in eight years <laughs> go right ahead dick asshole just pull right in front of me right in front of me get swung around here I can get some enjoy my coffee 
this, uh, this allergy is really taking it out of you. Yeah, I'm just not a caller. I'm a texter, you know, and I'm not, um, you know, I don't even do that if it's on YouTube. Uh, my moderators will tell you uh, it's just uh, just my nature, and I'm very upfront with people about that. I don't do that. You know, uh, I don't want people to feel like, uh, you know, my phone is always available to talk, because honestly, I'm too damn busy, and I love everybody, you know. I absolutely love everybody. Hello, Mouse Toes, Sunny Girl, Patricia Wakefield, how are you? Got Quirky Runda, Noreen, Liz, Wade Bowen. You going 20 or 27? I usually go uh, I-5 to 58 and then 58 to 15, California 58. I'm going to make try to make a few stops, though. I want to bring some other content. Thank you, Darlene. Hey, Judy. Hi, Jody. Jennifer, Kathy, how are you? No such thing as a free lunch. That's right. There are no free lunches. If, if you could spend your way to prosperity, there'd be no poor countries in the world. Think about that. Okay, self-love. You'll never be lonely a day in your life. Yeah, we're going to have a full chat tonight. Cause, hey, Red Road Runner, how you doing, babe? Um, hey, Pizza Kitty, good. Good. I'm just honest with people. I'm just not wanting to call. It's time to be. No, we're not going to bounce Quirky. We love Quirky, Alan Gold, very, very much. So we have another challenge tonight. This particular person uh, lives actually down in Roner Park, which is about eight miles, six, six miles down the road, four to six miles. So they're not real familiar with Santa Rosa Cemetery. They did say tonight that they had heard me previously mention that a relative of Daniel Boone's is buried in the Santa Rosa Rural Cemetery. And there's, that may be easy to find, but they said there's an attached grave to that site that is very unique in its uh, history. Uh, and I don't know what that means. I won't know until we get up there, but find a grave that's very unique in that spot and you will find, you will find the money. So that's all I have. Yes, if you're going this, I'm going to go this, I think I'm going to, how you doing, Donnie? I think I'm going to go Sunday uh, because I could, I was shocked. If I go down Sunday and come back uh, Friday, the rates are cheaper than they were. I don't need to be there during the weekend. The weeks were the rates were cheaper than during the pandemic last year. I couldn't even believe it. Hey Jackie, thank you for your kindness, sweetie. That was so nice of you. That was so sweet. Uh, Jackie, my wonderful friend down under there, hard working uh, nurse, been working her tail off through the whole pandemic. I'm so grateful for your support. And I'm so happy that you are a part of the uh, channel. I think it's absolutely uh, wonderful. You have to put some makeup free night tonight. So. <laughs> Addicted to alternative music. Let me get on live chat here. I'm on the stupid side chat, chat, top, uh, top chat. So we're going to see what we can find there. I don't want to get bitten by rattlesnakes. I don't want any confrontations with wild animals. I don't. I'm going to have to need. Thank you. I'm going to have to need. Um, hometown are the only people. The DMV that was so me for with all these damn questions. Shout out to Baltimore. Hey, Rectovers. How you doing? Um, yeah, I mean, if I, it's a difference. I mean, uh, thank you, Psyche. It is really cheap. If I go down next week, and I come combine that, if I want to take off earlier. But I got some stuff coming up that I just simply need to do. And I'm going to save my big explorations for fall and winter when it's not blazing damn hot. Tonight's a grilling swimming night. All right. Yeah, I like that, too able to hit the pool a little bit uh, down in uh, down in Vegas so I'm looking forward to that and then everything's leading up to Mexico Acapulco and Mexico City uh, and then look out for snakes in the RV yes yes you look out for snakes yeah, absolutely 
Look out for snakes. Yeah, I gotta look, look out for snakes in the rural cemetery. It's a very dangerous place over there. Um, the ground is very uneven. A lot of leaves and branches cover steep drop-offs. Uh, sometimes measured in five to six feet off of walls and things because the earth has so wrecked this town. The earthquakes have so destroyed the land over there. It's like it's just a, just some horrific looking cemetery. Most cemeteries you think are nice and flat, beautiful, and got grass. This one looks like uh, a bunch of gigantic moles went tunneling under and pushed everything up there. Let's see if I can get a room on for Sunday night or Monday. Well, they're cheap, I can tell you that, and they're available. According to the site I use, they're they're 92% available. So. Uh, do I have hiking boots? No, I got my Nikes on tonight. I do have boots. Yeah, thumbs up or appreciate it. So we're going to have some fun tonight. And we're going to have to figure out where the Boone family relative is buried up in that uh, cemetery. We're going to have to figure that out. I'm probably going to... Hey, Angus, how you doing? I'm probably going to need uh, Cheryl. Uh, Cheryl to be here. But it was an interesting day today. When you get to the cemetery, could you repeat the clue? There, I don't have a clue. The clue, I don't have any rhyme this time. It's just like this person said last time. I don't even know if it's a man or a woman. They said last time you were at the cemetery, you mentioned some people that had been buried there. Uh, a collection of people that had been killed in the 06 earthquake that leveled this town and it did much more damage and destruction here than San Francisco per capita. But this person also heard me mention that one of Daniel Boone's relatives is buried in this cemetery to a very wealthy, probably one of the richest people in the history of this county here. Okay, How you doing, Scottish? Uh, and then it's not so much near that grave, but evidently at this site, there's another grave of interest, a very small one there. And uh, we'll reveal more of those clues or more of that as we get over there. So, Sarah Wilco on Boone Wright. Okay. But it's not so much her, uh, I don't know if her name is Wilco or Wright. You know, I've got Wright. Yeah, Sarah Wilco. Boone Wright, something like that. The Wright family is very famous here. How you doing, Cheryl? We have uh, Wright um, Elementary School, Wright Road, a Wright Construction Company. There's all kinds of uh, all kinds. It's the Main Circle 118. Okay. How you doing, Gerald? Is Gerald in here? How you doing, Lulu? I'm sure you already heard from that. I had a gasoline leak. Oh wow. Oh man, I'm sorry to hear that, Gerald. Wow, that is scary. Especially in the heat in the summertime. Not cotting, uh, right. Right. W R I G H T, the Wright family. Evidently, she's the granddaughter of Daniel Boone. Evidently. It's about 100 degrees. Yeah, it's, it's uh, 86 here. Hey, Rhonda, how you doing? Hey, Pitt, Mom. Daniel Boone's parents are buried in North Carolina. Well, these people came a hell of a long way from there to get here, 3,000, 2,800 miles uh, before there were trails, and it's very, 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 very uh, difficult to be a pioneer. That's what made California very tough. Snakes don't like the smell of lime. Whoa, okay. A snake and a chicken area heading towards eggs. Wow. Yeah, I gotta be kind of careful tromping around. Um, you know, I just I don't want any problem over here. Glad the car, glad the vehicle didn't catch uh, didn't catch fire, Gerald. Uh, now why would I be delaying going down to um, Vegas? Well. Now we got a couple reasons why we have a couple things that come up. Number one, it's going to be slightly cooler this week. It's going to be 106 to 110 as opposed to 110 to 118 this week. 
Okay, and that's for starters there. And number two, I've got stuff going on. Good night all. Okay, take care, Quirky. Uh, you should get a good pair. I got a good boots. I got hiking boots. Uh, she's listening to, okay, she's not leaving. Okay. I don't know. As you know, guys know, yesterday I was delivered a drone. The under 250 gram DJI Mini 2. And whereupon I learned that, um, yeah, if you're not if you're not making money, then you can fly it or whatever. Well, what the hell is the point, right? I'm anticipating that after months of bitter wrangling with the publishing company, that things are going to be good to go in a couple days. I could be wrong. I don't know. But I decided to bite the bullet, and on Thursday, I'm going to be sitting for the Federal Aviation Administration's uh, Airman Unmanned Drone uh, course and certification. I'm going to be taking that. It's going to be a two-hour test administered. It ain't no online stuff. I've got to go to a testing center at the airport, sit down take that examination under the uh, close scrutiny of an examination proctor there and whereupon I'll have uh, two hours to uh, do the examination and I'll tell you it ain't no joke all right it ain't no joke you got to know everything from the uh, alphabetic uh, alpha characters of the alphabet alpha bravo charlie uh delta echo you got to know all the way down to zulu you got to know how to read a map in a b c d airspace you've got to interpret a weather printout and it doesn't just say from a beautiful weather girl with big boobs and a big butt what's going on it's all this short weather nomenclature and directions you've got to know longitude and latitude and be able to plot and find on a map certain points you've got to know the procedure for uh, touching base with the FAA and, uh, and clearances and I'll tell you I'm gonna I want to do it I mean I'm studying already but all I want to do, I mean, you're limited to a 400-foot ceiling, right? I mean, uh, you're not going to fly above 400 feet. I'm not going to be flying near an airport. So, but they just make it so, it's a moneymaker, right? You have to pay 120 bucks to the government and $50 for to the testing site. You calculate wind speed, yeah, it was wind speed, only got to do all that stuff. Heading is coming downwind into an airport. I have to study components of shear and lift and cloud formations and, uh, 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 you know, apparent ground clearances, is ASL above sea level, and I mean, it's just like, wow, it's really, really, so I'm going to be taking a lot of time tomorrow, I'm not working, and I'm not working Thursday, I'm going to take a lot of time, how you doing, Scott? Yeah, kite on a string, exactly. Well, they just, there's so many people flying stuff. Well, I'm glad as a commercial, as a user of commercial airlines, I'm glad that they have a degree of uh, regulation. Thank you, Diane. Uh, yeah, I'd fly that over Sherman. Hey, man, if I, if I, and they act like you will be on board. Yeah, if I, get this license I'm flying the hell out of this thing okay I bought the extra insurance package of $49 a year which entitles me to wreck it two times <laughs> you know if I wreck it one of them is replace if it's if it's lost it unrecoverable so I'm deep into this thing now man I told you I took this money from selling my gear and I'm turning it into uh, this. So I don't want to be flying drone versus a sacred toast. 
Uh, do you know? Do you know they did it? And most top are due to leaky fuel injectors. I believe that used to be leaky uh, fuel filters. Yeah. Uh, how you doing, Sean? Sure, you'll do great. You have a photo. Yeah, I do have a good memory. Yeah. Point of no return, and it's gone, Blackbird. So I'm going to be taking that, sitting for that examination. I paid for it. Oh man, navigating the FAA website and reg registering. First thing you have to do is you have to register for airman certification, and they got to do a background check with your license. They got to see if you have any uh, DUI or narcotics convictions, uh, things like that. They got to run that, and then they do a quick scan on that, and then they send you a link, and you hit that link, and then you go register for the test. They give you your own unique air flyer certification number. How you doing, Ashley? Fly the old-fashioned helicopter. Do you need? To, I guess they. I guess you do too. I don't know. You know. But um, it's good money for the government. So yeah, I'm gonna fly this thing. I'm gonna try to be proficient. I'm not doing standalone drone videos though. It'll be incorporated into the. Uh, travel videos that I do so it's pretty intense Patricia for just putting up a flying thing with the camera 400 feet it's very intense yeah I mean it's like uh, weather uh, navigating uh, longitude latitude they'll give you coordinates you got to find the longitude and latitude on the map you have to reach you have to calculate the runway uh, angle of descent into the runway and calculate for g-forces on shear on turns g-forces you know when a plane banks by degrees the g-forces increase because you're subjecting more of the fat underbottom of the plane to wind forces so the forces on the plane increase according to the angle of the uh, banking so it's all that crap you gotta know gotta know all that stuff uh yeah i'm a walking encyclopedia i'm full of it you know, all this for a drone susan you can look it up you can look it up so i'm i'm studying i'm not going to take a prep course i'm just i'm just studying these uh source material from the uh faa a lot of it is common sense, you know, you got to be uh, 13 years old to register a drone, you got to be 16 to fly it or something. You can't fly more than 100 miles an hour, you, can't, you have to have maintain line of sight visibility, you know, just common sense stuff. You can't, uh, you can fly 30 minutes before or after twilight oh, unless you get a variance. Needs a beer. Yeah, I'm sure that test gets you halfway. I mean, you got to identify on maps where uh, topographical features are, where where guide, visual guide, runway uh, things are, towers, visual observation towers. So, you know, there's no doubt it's like the real thing, the real deal. Thumbs up or appreciated, guys. Like up the stream if you're just coming in. Now, you can get caught, but... Huh, the fines are staggering. The fines are absolutely staggering if you um, get caught flying and if you're monetized and uh, right, you're gonna you're gonna wish that you you wish that you would smash that drone in your garage with a sledgehammer. The FAA ain't fooling around. Yeah, next you'll be getting your pilot's license. I don't like small commercial. I like, uh, I don't like small plane. I like big commercial jets. That's what I like. Why don't you come sit next to me, dude? Right up next to the window, like a window liquor right here. Drone footage, French castles. Yeah, the drone footage is good. I mean, I've used it a lot. I've flown over some great stuff. But I gotta make sure I'm compliant. Uh, click on self-guided tour. We might be living. I don't know, Cheryl. I can't put it on my... Uh, I'm just going to need you guys to guide me. Any trouble flying your drone? No, I didn't have any trouble. I didn't do any fancy maneuvers over there. You know, 
I just put it up, went forward, and kind of came back. And who is flying a drone? Oh, yeah. I have to have a specific registration number that's affixed to my uh, drone. Either I have to put it on with uh, uh, indelible ink, like a Sharpie, or have something stuck to it so it has identifying information. Put together a comma of all the graveyards. Yeah, I should, right? Graveyards of doom. Liquor of doom. Yeah, I think the chat can help me tonight. So it's serious. It's far different when I started flying with Missy Jen three years ago in Beverly Hills. And over the, hey Thomas, over the Beverly Hills mansion and the schoolhouse. Now you have people that are actively monitoring, that are on a contracted company that all they do is study YouTube videos and then they report they call you up they have your contact information from YouTube YouTube can't YouTube can't turn your stuff over fast enough to the government okay all right you get this little call this is XYZ on behalf of the FAA we need to talk to you about your drone flying and then they set an appointment where somebody really from the FAA calls and they talk to you from whatever airport they work at or whatever. Now, once you get to low down, they're cool. They'll let you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You probably didn't know. Blah, blah, blah. Now you know. Now you know. And if they get you again, they will find the shit out of you. Okay, because they ain't playing around when it comes to air safety and terrorism and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I think, Lulu, I've done it before in the past. And before, I didn't have the confidence because I'm flying such an expensive piece of equipment. Now this thing is cheap enough and the limits of how high you can go are such that I don't really feel like... Uh, I don't really feel like it's that big of a deal anymore. So, I mean, I'm looking forward to that. You want a cemetery? Chooch. Yeah, CJ up in... Uh, CJ wants to that... Uh, so I'm going to sit for that. My exam slot is 12.30 to 3 p.m. on uh, on Thursday. So I'm going to I'm going to bone up. The hardest part to me is reading the weather reports with the shorthand that they use to. Uh, do those weather reports you know what the ceilings are broken clouds up to you know from 800 feet up to 3800 feet and all that crap uh, you ever can yeah mouse toes does a lot mouse toes is an expert uh, can first class and then you can't find any better body better than mouse toes Yeah, it's Thursday at the airport. I have to actually go to the airport and uh, take the examination. This is serious business, this airman certificate. And then with that comes the uh, drone test. So small unmanned aircraft, which according to the FAA can be very dangerous due to the amateurish nature of, uh, of most pilots. So... Hope we see some black widows. I don't know, Jamie. This place is pretty weird for. Um, I don't know. I don't know. We should. I've never really looked around that area. Too much, guys. Do 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 So I'm going to get that done. That's good for two years. Then you have to resit for the, uh, you have to sit for the refresher. Uh, well, lots changed in the drone world. All right, lots changed in the drone world. And I'm afraid some people won't pass that test. And that's probably a good thing. Probably a good thing. 
from a commercial pilot's license when I flew for you nine and I've switched careers since nice do 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 you probably flew me do 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 la da da do 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 oh thank you Jamie la da do do la da da drum we goods radio <laughs> yeah there you go evil yeah evil good to see you super evil Let's see uh, yeah, I think it's cool to be licensed because it's another pressure off my back, but stuff is so, it just is part and parcel of the cost of doing anything these days is so damn high. It's stressful. You remember me, I was the best passenger. I was the one smoking and drinking in the back of uh, trans-Asian flights, right? <laughs> <laughs> Love to get on those big 747-800s, man. The, the Rolls Royces to the sky. Yeah, those things, Psyche, were just, uh, they were just floating palaces, man. You'd have, you have like, th th what do you have, like three seats on the right. You had like six seats across the center, and you had three seats on the left. You had like 12 people across the plane and you had stairs that went up to the upper level right it was just like it was just like a floating palace man it was like so smooth every time i got on to a uh, 747 cathay pacific or united i was like yeah baby yeah it was like flying a mini city it was nice it was really nice Ashtrays, yes, I remember ashtrays. New York had fireworks tonight, huh? So, all said, the most brutal part so far has been registering and getting through the FAA uh, registration stuff. And then they take you off site to another company to set up the um, testing. For some reason, that didn't take. I wasn't putting my my airman certification number incorrectly or something so it's very uh it's very <clears throat> high levels of security for this thing very high levels of um you know they just they don't want anybody just getting a license especially after 9 11. yep i can get you anywhere you like i like flying I live next to a home. I had folks at the house come to gear up for paranormal activity. That's cool. I'd like to get a ghost box sometime. You all know about a ghost box? I don't know anything about a ghost box. It's supposed to be very sensitive to something, emissions or something. I don't know. I want to say nocturnal emissions, but we know what they really are. So. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Wasn't gonna go there. Oh, 86 degrees. Yeah, a little warm tonight, but nice. So I like to have stuff. I like to get stuff accomplished, and that's gonna be a real monkey off my back. I don't want to hear any messages from dead people. I don't know what the hell it is. It's something that you stick it out there and something happens. And ghost box is fascinating. You get one. Somebody send me a link for one. I just like canned tomato spaghetti. So uh, I can't stand that, Diane. I can't believe somebody that's a vegetarian like you would use canned tomato spaghetti sauce. You should be out there making your own. Yeah, coffee's looking yummy. So easy, little garlics, cut up some onion, put some peppers in if you like, sweat them down. Add in your uh, diced tomatoes, your oregano, Italian spices, a couple cans of tomato paste, four or six cans of tomato sauce, 
couple 14 and a half ounce jars of diced tater uh, tomatoes and you're good uh, I think they have a Wagmans down there I'm not really sure I'm not really sure no it ain't no good Diane no freshly canned from no uh, that ain't no good that ain't no good Ashley, it looks like I'm going to be heading down Sunday because it's dirt cheap and because the weather is going to be moderated a little bit. Okay. I think Mr. Z is good to go. I don't know what Monkey Boy's uh, status is going to be. But believe it or not, I can book a place in Vegas cheaper than last year. Which tells me that it's now just a totally weekend town. Ghost box like to detect spirits. Really? Do you have one, Judy? <sighs> I wouldn't know a ghost box from an ice box. All right, excuse me. And I'm not like Ghostbusters, right? I am afraid of ghosts. I ain't afraid to know ghost do, 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 do. I'm afraid of ghosts do, 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 do. Uh, when it was young and poor my poor can of Campbell's tomatoes if that would be pretty uh, pretty gross pretty gross uh, I like tomato soup though I like to really spike it up with a lot of pepper So, I'm going to be studying hard tomorrow, getting that thing knocked off, and then we're going to we're gonna commence to fly in this mofo, and uh, do a few test flights and stuff, and then incorporate it into our travels. Good thing now I know how to read, you know, mm -hmm. FAA maps so I can tell where I'm allowed to, uh, I can see where I'm allowed to fly and what restricted areas are and what class uh, class A, B, C, D airspace and the levels and all of that. So that's that's a big help. That's a big help. Homemade mac and cheese. Good and chatter in my mac and cheese. I like a good sharp chatter, that's what I like. Oh, it's comfortable with that AC on in my in my own house, boy is what's your name and in the cemetery here, small child say mama. Mama. I've had I've had vicious animals almost drop down on me from from trees. Things that, that I can't even put my hands out that wide on camera. Right? I've seen uh, monster-sized deer that would just rip you a new one if they saw you, right? Just come charging. And I think one night we had a we had a mountain lion in there, or a regular lion, something like that. My mom used lots of butter and mac and cheese. Live there, so it's fun to watch the FAA flight tracker. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I'll be teaching the prep class, huh? Now, I'm just going to do my own thing. I'm not going to be one of those fly for the sake of fly. It has to incorporate into uh, things. I think you put it as part of your travel log, and then it makes it a lot more interesting. Yeah, animals of doom, just enormous things up on trees, and um, you'll be down, down low at the cemetery, sort of downhill. And you'll see these two big ass eyes glowing red or green like up the hill. It's like, what the hell is that? Right? It's just not it's just not fit for for human beings in there, you know? It's um, it's like something out of some wild safari or something. It's exceedingly dangerous over there. People so very uh, and uh, 
I don't know what I'm gonna. I'm not gonna worry about what I'm gonna eat tonight. The person's like, I'm out of here. <sighs> oh, it's a very lovely things about Char. Oh, Charlotte. Yeah, Charlotte's great. Yeah, the critters were there first, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not a woods person. What's up, Keith Gregory? The woods can be your last destination on Earth. People always say, "Oh, Rosie, you could get you could get shot down on this back alley or shooting." Yeah, I could, but I feel safer there for some reason, and just feeling like all kinds of weird, creepy stuff is around me in the woods. Is 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 looking at me, you know? And it's just thinking, it's assessing whether whether I can be eaten or not. Hey, Kaylee. Right, and I don't want to be a damn meal for something out in the woods. Snake or something like that. Pinched at a cemetery, it hurt and left a mark for a while. I just don't want to round an ankle. Uh, how you, Kaylee, how you been, honey? Good to see ya. I don't like to see weird things in the light. There's a flashlight down there. And you hear something scream up at the tree. You'll see something that you swear it's like a gorilla in the tree or something. Snakes or frogs. Yeah, I just don't like we got big rattlesnakes out here. Uh, I don't like spiders and snakes. And that's just what it takes to love you. Ooh, yeah, I didn't bring any pepper spray. <laughs> Wild pigs and boars or what? The hell is that? Ain't too cute to run into in the woods. That's what I'm talking about. Dangerous. Hey Teresa, what you do, baby? How you go? How you go? We're going on a uh, cemetery money hunt tonight. We're going to find the uh, grave of Daniel Boone's uh, granddaughter, right? Oh, nice looking girl. My neighborhood demands I bring deviled eggs. I just show up with beer, right? Universally welcome. A little bit of rock and roll. Yeah. So I'm, I'm kind of glad. Uh, killed the bar. Huh? I'm kind of glad that I'm not gonna, I'm not going down to Vegas um, until Sunday, because I really got to watch the money. I can't afford the uh, weekends, and uh, I'm just as much fun probably arguably less dangerous with a less gang bangers around called rugelash mouse toes a european jewish coffee cake i've made it before yeah rugelash yeah i've made it before i've made it i have made it what time is it 7.30. Uh, I guess we could just go over there and just start reconnoitering. I don't want to blow the thing, but it's not like it's not like the money is going to be taken away, right? So you should check Ray choosing your player's card. Yeah, I'm all set. I want a place with a pool. And uh, Cortez doesn't have a pool. I get free nights at the Cortez. Um... And I may very well be there. I just haven't quite decided yet. So. Alright, let's get all the hell out of here. You baked black and white cookies. Yes, I bought black and white cookies. They're amazing. They're, they're a little, um... 
they're definitely um, time consuming to make them <clears throat> there's actually two entrances to the cemetery the one that uh, a lot of people go on is um, is uh, Franklin Avenue. The original one was on McDonald Road when the funeral processions would come out of downtown and the, bl and the whole black horses and carriages would come up McDonald and go into the McDonald Avenue entrance. Real old western shit. Real old west stuff. So. sunglasses on that sun's going down I really don't want to have any animal encounters over here yeah I made them good they're just very time-consuming they're really good but they're uh, definitely an excellent cookie if I go to a Jewish deli they're always the cookie that I seek out Greatest tradition in New York City, the black and white cookie. Excellente. Let's see how the hell we're going to get over here tonight. Now, it's, it's warm tonight, so that means a lot of crap's going to be moving around over here. It's going to be a lot of stuff moving around, creeping around the place. Gonna be a lot of weird stuff going on over here tonight because it's hot and hot weather brings out a lot of stuff over here. Uh, that's for damn sure. Obstruction. I'm going to see, um, Scottish sent me a link to, I uh, see that that came up in my phone. She sent me a link to um, a ghost box, so let's see if I can get that. I'm not going to have it in time. And also, you guys are talking about, uh, you know, when people heard I'm going to Vegas, and they saw the Black Widows here in Sebastopol at the cemetery, they're really hot for teacher now to go down to the cemetery, so uh, we're going to have to do that. What is the hell? This person just set up a tent right at the gas station? Really? Holy smokes. Somebody's going to run over that dude. Really? Crap. Let's see if we can head up to McDonald Avenue entrance so that's a must do uh, Hoover Dam also I want to go inspect for myself it's not my favorite thing to do due to my fear of uh, plunging heights it's funny I don't care about being in an airplane or something like that but uh, I do get all wobbly and stuff I could never go on that outer bridge that looks down on never in a million years could I do that. That could never happen. Come on, man. Let's go, bro. What are we doing? What are we in a parade? I feel really good that I got my new tires. I feel really good about that. I got some really nice uh, Cooper Tire Division tires on here, and I feel great about that. I feel like that's great. What we're going to try to do is get down McDonald Avenue and see if we can follow that in uh, to where the action is. We're retracing the way they used to go from the center of town up to the uh, graveyard. The old uh, horse-drawn hearses and funeral processions. Yep, thumbs up or most appreciated, guys. Please like up the stream. These are some of the most beloved streams on uh, that I do. The cemetery, and I risk life and limb 
Um, I could be torn apart up here. I could turn around and come face to face in my final moments in life with a huge, uh, you know, lion or something. Be the end of the line. That'd be about all she wrote. Be about the end of the line. Torn from limb to limb. I have to. I have to stare down and fight that mofo. That ain't no joke. Let's see if we. I think we got to get in the back way here. They have these streets all designed so you can't just roll into a really great neighborhood. You gotta like back door in here. right on McDonald Road right here. Is this McDonald or uh, this is uh, Monroe Street. It's the only town I've ever been to where streets named after presidents are desirable streets. Usually my rule of thumb is if a street is named after letters of the alphabet or presidents, uh, slain civil rights uh, leaders or uh, presidents, then you're probably not in a really good uh, place. Yeah, this is McDonald here. So let's see where this entrance goes uh, here. Also names of states too. Let's go up here. Yeah, this is the road that the funeral procession used to come up, McDonald Avenue, due to how wide it is and beautiful. Also, the rich people could see where they used to be and lived over here and, you know, their big money days and all that. This is Santa Rosa, God's chosen spot. This is it. Yeah, these are beautiful homes. We've been all down here. I showed you guys. That's the house from Scream right there. Nevi Campbell. That's the house from All My Sons, Edward G. Robinson. That's the house from Shadow of a Doubt, Alfred Hitchcock. It's all here. All right here. And then we got the big Pollyanna house. That's on the other side. So, so let's see what happens. This entrance is supposed to be right on McDonald Road here. So this is actually the way that the horse-drawn hearses would come to the cemetery. They would always traverse the richest area of town. You got the tree. This is super wide. This is almost like a road in Beijing. Except you don't have to die crossing it. We'll find out pretty fast in Asia that uh, traffic gets the traffic has the right way. Right, now this looks like we've come right down to where the end of McDonald here, right up here. Yeah, yeah I'll be damn. There's the entrance right there, son of a gun, just right up the hill. Unbelievable. There it is. You go right up the hill. So I reckon we'll uh, I reckon we'll park right here. That's the way they just went, right up the hill. Hard to believe. You know, four lanes is just a suggestion. As are stop signs. Let's make sure we got everything here. Let's take our battery pack in case we get stranded. We can always auxiliary power our flashlight well, actually we can't because I don't have the uh, thing that goes into that all right let's see we damn so McDonald Avenue does go right up to the cemetery it's pretty wild yeah I don't have I don't have any gloves with me Sit this baby here a minute while I get situated. 
the international symbol of fine chooching. Except no substitute. Let me get plugged in here. Uh, luckily, I already went to the bathroom, so I'm not going to explode up here if I run into something. You know what I mean? All right. Oh, damn. I didn't fract. Oh man. I hope I didn't just bust this thing. Ugh. Oh, don't fail me now. Damn it. I think I busted this thing. Ugh. Is it still working? I don't know. I think that's the end of the line. Is that working? I don't know, guys. Shit. Great. I got something, but the the damn—it's only got one one damn light on it now. Well, shit. Let's see if we can bang it on the ground here. Ugh. Like all fine electronics, sometimes it responds to a little persuasion there. Damn, we're screwed before we even begin. What's up, JK? Shit. What the hell, does this thing even got a charge? It's showing, I don't know. That made me kind of want to pee myself. is your dog Old. he's a cutie he or she she's she. senior that's all right slow. we all get there yeah. you know so you're doing okay yeah good looks like it hey cute dog hey. hello hi hi wiener dog hey, hi, all right let's get out of here i've already probably destroyed this battery bank already We lock up Butterfingers. All right. Let's go up the hill here. ready to go here all right don't hit me bro well i just think i destroyed this thing we just have to run on the power we got in the phone i think so. hi What the hell that dog is? Yeah, and there's the hill right on McDonald Avenue. That was the original entrance. Take you right in, right down the most glorious street in Santa Rosa, right here. Could you imagine the old hearse coming right up the street here? Your final ride. That, that dog looked really vicious. Stay the hell away from it. Do I got my flashlight? Yeah. Oh man. Let me go scraping around the ground tonight. That guy looks like Santa Claus. Or 
Robert Berg's in about 20 years. Proctor Terrace. We are into the cemetery. I'm feeling pretty good because it's light out still. Christmas time, they had the wreaths hanging up here. It was really ghastly looking. Let's see. No drinking. No camping. They don't ever keep dogs on the leash up here. They're running around and a lot of them are very vicious. The earthquakes did to this thing. Split that mofo right in. Well, we can actually see something tonight. Look at that. Sheared that baby right there. Got some kind of green goo on it. Hey, Pansy, how you doing, sweetie? Onto themselves, fell off horses, drank poison. Hey, that was the old days, you know. Don't laugh. First female doctor at Santa Rosa, huh? Chopped trees on themselves, fell off horses, drank poison. Hey, man, that was the old days, right? Life was dangerous. What are these poop bags or what? Now that is. I don't know. What is this over here? Bill Montgomery. Hard and dedication. That's pretty boring. Well, which way do we got to go here, Cheryl? Which way do we need to go? We've still got some light. I don't see any real wild animals yet around, which excites me a lot tonight. Uh, I think we still got uh, twilight, so I think I'm here at a good time. left so we're gonna go left over here huh left 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 All right, we got multiple trails now this baby splits off you know when you come to a fork in the road take it right we got a one path goes this way one path goes this way and one path goes that way right yeah, don't meet up with the Donner party. I'm more worried about just weird, uh, weird people hanging around in here. So, yeah, we got one path this way, we got one path this way, and one path that way. Go far left, okay. I wonder what the story of the bars is here. Step up to the bar. Oh, I guess there used to be another bar here. Yeah, I don't like guys in skinny jeans. Lemons. Yeah, somebody put lemons up here. Alan Lemon. Wow, 
that's weird. People do weird shit in California. Tell you people do weird stuff around here. Let's see. Look at the way this all caved in down here. This used to be all flat, and then the earthquake just flattened this all down. That's like uh, three feet down there. Gotta be careful, this whole thing could just cave in. Right here. Right. Oh, oh, that's a lizard. That scared the shit out of me. Oh, I saw this thing zoo, run. Holy smoke, there it is. A crazy little lizard. Wow. Man, that scared the hell out of me. Joseph Airbag, huh? Oh, Bagley, 1890s. Infant. When the kid died, like, uh, well, at six months old or something. Yeah, this lizard was this. I can't even describe how big. You see how wide this thing is? That's how big that thing was. Oh. Was enormous. Okay, so here we go. Luckily, we still got a lot of light. So, 2006. Boy, this is the whole Overton crew right here. Wow, they got the whole crew in here. Let's stick them all in. Here's some more of this. I don't know what happened here. Are these the weird things. See, in October, you don't want to be around here because there's really weird people in the cemetery. My mother, father. It's a year that hear how crunchy this is. We gotta be damn careful about snakes. This is dry as hell. There's people creeping around with their dog. Let's see. What's up, let it go? How you doing? Let's go down here. When you come to a fork in the road, take it. Williamsburg, PA. Absalom. There's oh, he's a doctor. Dr. Stewart. This this place is um, absolutely horrific when it's dark because the terrain is so bad that it, you can fall off the side of a 
cliff here because the earthquakes are so mashed up the ground here. Normally I don't do this on a weekday, I don't know. See how that all collapsed in, kind of on an angle. Eighteen twenty-five. Some old birds in here. We can get down here with that. Getting a wig snatched. Let's see. Let's see if we got some black widow action. This grave has like subway tiles on it. I don't want to say that's cheap, but. Schmallenbach. Schmallenbach. Smiling back. You figure the yeah, I figure those bones are still down there. Those bones are raw and ready to go. Remember the old, he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and the dead shall rise. Just my luck, I'll be at ground zero here when that show begins. That should be a hell of a hell of a sight. Ugh. Talk about ground zero. Oh yeah, this is wow. This be prime black widow right here. You can fall right off this wall. Bust your nuts right here. Yeah, yeah this is Franklin Avenue. Ooh, ooh, what the hell is that? Ooh, oh, that scared me. Careful, stop falling on you. Let's be careful. Let's see if we see any widows here. That's a regular nest. Rattlers. Yeah. Let's see, let's see in there. That light in there. You guys see anything in there? What the hell is that? Wow, look at that. Holy smokes, Jody, get a snap of that. Holy crap, look at that old thing. What the hell? Holy smokes. Jeez. Got something dropping down on me here. Some more spiders here than you can shake a stick at up here. Wow, that is really one wild looking operation right here. Wow, that's really old school. It smells like decay. Definitely smells like decay. It smokes. I've never seen something like that in my life. I'm shining through a really tiny pinhole there. I'm just making sure no black widows drop down on me. Here. Oh, wow. Wow, I cannot believe that thing in there. Oof. Wow. Unbelievable. Uh, 
that's a real that's the real deal y'all right there that is the real deal look at that it's got some kind of slime it's got some kind of green goo that's oozed out of it it's also got like shields on the top that's got to be like from the 1850s or something What a sight. Smokes. Wow. Look at this thing. They just nailed this on. I didn't even screw it on this piece of wood. That's weird. Pearly. You got any make on that, Shirley? If that's somebody named Pearly. P-E-R-L-E-Y. Must have been somebody to have an operation like this. Woo! Wow. Man, that is a hell of a sight in there. I bet if you look in here, too. Right here. I don't want to slip off the wall. I got some joy juice in here. Ooh, I just heard a rattle. I think I just heard a rattle. Let me get the hell away from here. I swear I just heard a rattle. Ow. Did you hear that? I can't find a date on it. It doesn't have a date. You know, it's unusual. Yeah, I'm okay. Just tripped up a little bit there. I heard that rattle. I know they're in the leaves. There's a, there's a rattler right over here. I know it. Something was rattling right there. Woo! Already getting a big payoff here tonight. That weird grave. What a way to go, though. First class, huh? Yeah, I got my Ray Bands. I got them. There they are. Mm -hmm. I'm still alive. Definitely heard a rattle. All right, so we're still going left here. What'd you all think of that uh, coffin in there? I think it's pretty slow acting. You know, a lot of animals like that slow death. All right. Bertoli. Ooh, there goes another lizard. Wow, those things are all over. There he is right there. Look at the size of that thing right there. Right on the wall. There he goes. Wow. Pearly. Cumberland Death, 1903. Bury Santa Rosa Rural Cemetery. Okay, there we go. I wonder if they hauled them all the way out from Wisconsin. Huh? Oh. oh, there he is right there. There he is. Right there. There he is. Look at him right there. That thing's a good foot and a half, two feet long right there. Look at the size of that thing. He smokes. That thing. I'm gonna let him do his piece. Don't wanna upset him. I 
I'm not sure if it's a lizard or some kind of, uh, I don't know what the hell it is. I mean, that thing is enormous. That thing, uh, has that thing ever bit down on you? Look at this twilight now. The golden hour. He died in 1893. Yeah, that's what it is, a gila monster. Something like that. Let's go up here. Look at that, the old wooden ones. This has been amazing already tonight. I didn't see anybody else in the pearly house there, you know? I mean, it looked like... It's a shame, all that wasted space. All right. Been down there a long time. I'm headed due west. I guess I am. There's all kinds of things just running across here. And you got to be careful up on the hills because that's where the animals go through to get a vantage point. To look for things to attack. You need to head northeast. Yeah. Well, I came into McDonald Avenue. Oh, this is going to be horrible this this year for wildfires. So I figure I might as well sell my shit off before it burns up. block I think this is the McDonald this is the uh, Franklin entrance here <clears throat> Guarantee you, that's Snake City right in there. Yeah, apartments are super expensive. Army of the Republic. Six pounder replica. Well, that's boring. Oh well, the gates are closed here. There's some very frightening gates on that. The gates of death right there.
Oh, there's another one of those big. Oh, there's another one too. Wow, these things are everywhere. April 18th. This is just one disaster prone state here. Four persons unknown. George, age 14, age 12. Kids never knew what the hell hit them when that earthquake came. Yeah, the Great San Francisco earthquake, 1906. Magnitude 8 point something. So which way are we going here? We got another... We got three paths out of here. Stop. Okay, I've stopped. I've stopped. Here's some more of these bags. Well, that's all about. Ooh, that smelled. Pan right. There's the entrance. We can go to our right, center, left here. Good night, John. Go back in front of the gate, please. The gate of doom. with back to gate so we can see paths yeah that's what I got right here we can go right yeah I gotta leave before the sun goes down because this is this is just too dangerous in here right. go right we just came down this way we just came down this baby Hey, how you doing, Hazel? Oh, I'm so sorry, honey. So sorry you lost your cousin. Oh, my God. That's so terrible. Is there a path that goes left for you? Well, there's... You know, there's some mini paths here, but they're not really the main paths. was kind of straight on in right here off the uh, Franklin entrance. And uh, not to put pressure on you, but it does appear as if the sun is going down. So I can go left down that path, right alongside Franklin. I can go straight up here. 
and then where I just walked down. Right. Go right, okay, we just came down right, all right. Not along Franklin. Okay, well, we're walking back towards uh, McDonald Road entrance here. Another mini path here. Yeah, we just came this way from the uh, uh, McDonald Road to the Franklin Road. No, no, no. Yeah, we got to be careful, Terry, because uh, sun is starting to dip down. Here. We're just getting our bearings. We need to head to your left somehow. Well, that's very doable. We can go up and over the path here. Yeah, we'll go up the hill here. What's going on? Oh shit, my shoe's untied. Oh. All right. Walk on the path with the cross gate. Yeah, that's the Franklin Avenue entrance here. That's the 1906 earthquake memorial there. Starting to get a little anxious because it's getting dark. And this is when all, all the weird animals come out. Here's number 23. Who that is? That's a Japanese guy here. Yeah, well, we're heading away from Franklin now. We're going shooting right up the middle here. <sighs> hey, Steve, and it is getting dark. It appears much lighter on camera because I have a very low light lens. Not to put pressure on you, but... Perfect. What the heck's going on over here? So I got a picture here? hell is that? Really? Wharton R. Lee, 1990, native of Connecticut. Hell. Wow, that's weird. kind of disrespectful but the city does all kinds of stupid shit like that oh brother it's about par for the course there's the old slime materium right there that's the old slime materium Tall cement colored headstone with four reddish columns, not big, like just like three feet tall. Well, that could be like 5,000 of them around here. I don't know. This place is mofo creepy over here. 
Look at that, a twilight. How you doing, Christina? Here's 26 here. 26. I think I dropped my flashlight. Now I got it. I got it. This thing all collapsed in here. Yeah, I see 26 right here. We're getting the hell out of here now. This is number 21. Yeah, I just saw 26 right there. Uh, this is the one we found money last time. Had the slime coming out of it, some kind of goo oozing out. It's really like it just it smells. It just smells. I don't know how to describe it. It's like rotten gym socks with a little with a <laughs> with a pant load in them. Sun's going down, guys. We got to make tracks here. We're going to get caught up in this mess again in here. Yeah, literally, you just come here and there's some kind of, once in a while during the year, some kind of ooze. Some kind of slime just rolls down here. It's the damnedest thing you've ever seen. This is really horrible down here, this one. Only three markers away, but it's around a bit of a bend. Okay. Well, let's not, um, yeah, let's not hit panic mode. Maybe we'll be able to find um, Robert Ripley's grave tonight. Ripley's, believe it or not. If we can knock this off. There's the wall I almost fell off and killed myself last time. Right there. It's like a six foot wall right there. I went right off the side of that mofo. Okay. When you come to a fork in the road, take it. Wow, it's a perfect time for video now with that golden hour light. Look at this. Look at that, just that light is hitting that beautifully. Look at that. Maybe I can find some rain bands. Look at that light. Is that not beautiful? Just all lit up. There. And one kid only lived a lot. Uh, 18 years or something. Beautiful the way the light hits that. This is really uber freaky here. Look at this. Iron 
gates of doom. Tell me that's not weird. Oh, here's where if we could just get a look in here, if we could just get some light in here. guys this way ah, shit I just can't get any light in there damn it it looks, just looks really disgusting in there now we got that gate of doom right there all that's holding this thing together is those th things look at this what the hell is that in there what the hell is in there oh well what the hell it is short to see in there. Dad. Tell me that's not freaky. It's getting dark. Okay, we need to get out of here. I agree. We got to get the hell out of here fast. We need to try to find uh, Ripley's place over there if we can. Right, let's go over here. So, we got to bend in the road here. Here's where the road bends down here. You were saying go down to a, yeah, the sun goes down quick, and this is a very, this is begins a very dangerous part of the cemetery down here, where the animals are. I'm looking for not any numbers at all anything i'm trying to keep my balance this is a very uneven road here that wind is kicking up too it's another wall i almost fell off of one night I think this is coming down to the China or the Japanese area. Uh, Franklin is like way over there. I'm on the other side of the cemetery from Franklin. I'm getting that feeling again, Cheryl, that uh, this ain't gonna end good tonight. Let's keep going. Let's not panic yet. Everybody knows exactly where I am. What the hell is this? Foul. I don't know. It's where I don't want to be, where <clears throat> where <clears throat> animals come at right over here. It's not where I want to be.
Lovely. See any markers at all? This thing's being barely held together. They must have glued that. Something screwy with the picture. Let me uh, close it out for a minute and see if I can reopen. Okay, it's pixelated. Yeah, I'm way in the valley here. Pick his blur. Right, we got to get out of this zone. And there's a whole nother place down there. I just have no intention. I haven't seen any numbers at all, and I know I'm way down the hill here, so my signals went to shit. <sighs> this is this is exactly where I didn't want to be, and I don't know what the hell that is up there. I've never even been over here before. What the hell was that? You definitely don't want to be out here at twilight. There's no way I'm going down there. You can't pay me to go down that place right now. I don't know how the hell to get out of here. I'm going to step on a snake here. They don't want people to be down in this area. Oh, shit. Ow. Oh. Oh. Look at that hill. So dangerous. Here's one of these uh, 10 foot drop offs here. place is a death trap yeah I think we might have to just abort this mission this is all closed off trail closed I don't know yeah I think we might just have to admit we failed on this one I mean, this thing goes way down there. I don't even want to think about what the hell is down there. The sun looks incredible through those trees over here. Yeah, it's beautiful. You know where the hell you're going. Here's something here. 
Here we go. Here's, oh, just a friggin' arrow. Look at this. this guy doing cops park ranger what a lulu night tonight look at this down here death row death highway right there Oh, here's 21 right here. Here's 21. Look what I found. 21. Is this it? Oh, this is a dangerous wall. Is this it? 21? Okay, we got it. So I guess it's right here. Let's, um... Let's head up the hill and oh ow 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 oh. Oh. That's it. This, is, this is right that is uh Is that it? Simpson right, Samson right, Elizabeth right. Is that Daniel Boone's, uh, is that Daniel Boone's granddaughter? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Jump on me, whatever the hell you are. Now, according to him, they had a slave boy that came west with them that died and is buried here and took the name Wright. on that I don't want to fall off this wall Emma Jenna Wright four years old she died ah, being eaten alive here probably getting malaria Emma Jenner, you're right, I don't see anything here. The hell was that? Oh, these walls are all over the place. This is this is as dangerous as can be here. This is all earthquakes destroyed this place. Ugh. Well, there's, oh yeah, it says collar boy right there. Davis Wright. Do you have a Davis Wright there? May of, uh, what is that, May 18th, 1865, 
age 12 years old All right must be somewhere around here I'll just go grabbing in here Under the gnome, I don't know. The the gnome doesn't move. Right, the gnome is on. Look under the kanam nam. Looking dark, yeah, it is. Oh shit! There's money right there, right under our nose. <laughs> We got a 20 spot, guys. We got a 20. Oh, what's crawling on me? Ugh. Wow, we got a 20 spot. Look at that. We did it, guys. We did it. We did it. All right. Awesome sauce. There was right underneath of the flower right there. Thank goodness that wasn't a wild goose chase. Now let's go. Uh, we still got a little bit of light. Let's find Robert Ripley's grave without tripping off of this thing. Uh, Ripley's, believe it or not. Oh, I can't believe it. We scored. That'll be some burger money tonight. Ah. Uh, like that see we're way up this hill now way down again oh I took a good look trust me trust me let's see if we can find uh... I don't know somebody who lives down in Roner Park it's the second time they put money in here first time they put it in the in the uh, the slimatorium over there look at the way this all caved in here Way that all caved in. Let's see if we can find. Uh, did I just lose that? Where the hell did I put it? Shit. Oh, there it is. Thought oh, I lost it. The way this tree's all down on there. Damn, I thought I lost it for a minute. We're way up on the hill here, and it is getting dark. I don't know where the big uh, palm trees down here or not. Hey, kitty. I just, uh, I totally lost my bearings up here. Twenty bucks tonight. Uh, let's, let's head down where it's a little lighter down there. Let's head down there. How you doing, Queenie? Exciting. There's number twenty-three. Twenty-three. Pearly. Presley. Margaret Jane. Native of South Carolina. Lots of kids never made it, you know. Yeah, let's head over here. It's, it's a lot lighter over here. This is really, this is really where the wild animals are all down in that area there. 
sure as hell don't want to be in there. I want to look under here so bad, but I'll resist the urge. Hey, Pecan Baby. Yeah, the video was a bit pixelated. I didn't even see it myself. <clears throat> I'm thinking it's underneath or something. Uh, there's the big uh, palm tree. We think you're walking up. I am. I'm trying to go over. I was defeated last time finding Robert Ripley's grave. I'm a hell of a distance from the van right now. I'm walking by this uh, dual mausoleums of hell right here. I don't know what the theory is on this crap coming out of the side of it. This thing's ready to come down. Yeah, you could really get lost in here. There's a lot of different directions. Right. And I thought Ripley was somewhere around the palm tree. Oh no, there's a dog. Shit. Hello, doggy. Hi. this ooze coming out here it's a nice breeze tonight but we're fighting uh, we're fighting darkness right now we got like five minutes to nail this thing or we're out of here sure are there one or two palm trees in here is this like a dual palm tree layout or something California is famous for these palm trees of death right in here Let's go over here Yeah, the dog should be on a leash it Just doesn't make sense to me this, uh, this circle Palm trees are in the center of main circle yeah, there's one here, but is there another, you know, like a figure eight, there's another palm tree somewhere? Man, look at this bush of death here. Thought it was right here on the circle, you know. Uh, the dog had an owner. Luckily, the dog was old and didn't seem too vicious. Let's see. Let's see if this is it down here. This might be. I think we found Ripley right here. We always have to remember that Ripley is like at a uh, 7 o'clock position off of that palm tree. There it is. Believe it or not, we have found the gravestone of Robert Ripley. There it is. We couldn't find it last time. Look at how close it is to there. There it is. Native Santa Rosa and Robert Ripley. Born 1890, Santa Rosa.
believe it or not. I like the way that signed his name there. Well, he died in 49 in very high quality stone. Unfortunately, he had, uh, he only lived 59. He had heart disease, ran in the family. Yeah, he's buried with his, uh, he was never married. Buried with his father and his mother. Believe it or not. Freaking crows. How awesome is that, huh? Yeah, true native Santa Rosan. I've taken over people over to where he was born on Ripley Court. <laughs> William Hook, Hawkinsmith, 77th Pennsylvania Infantry Corporal. All right, let's see. We got a long hike to get the hell out of here. Nice. I always feel like I've accomplished what I want to do here. So for once, we get out of this area. Sound like a bullet just ricocheted off the stone here. That hit off of a stone or something. Bob Ross, what's up, Andrew? How you doing? Good to see you, brother. It's starting to get real dark now. Yeah, I'm moving. We've got a long way to go, though, to clear this place. There's a nice juicy black widow right there. Ah, oh, shit. The son of a bitch just ran. Damn it. It's a nice big juicy one, too. Damn. Just ran away right there. That was a big one. These ones are really skittish. Ooh, there's one right there. Look at the size of that thing. Ooh, there he goes. Right up there. Nice big juicy job. Yeah, what I gotta do is bring a secondary camera. There's a black widow's nest. They're always a real mess. There's no rhyme or reason to them. You gotta be careful leaning down because they can be right in your grill. Right in your grill. Uh. Got to be damn careful and leaning over. I learned the hard way. I had one kicked on my leg. They're very skittish, but that was a nice big juicy one. Nice, big, juicy job. Oh, there he is, right there. There he is. There she is, I should say. Right there. There she is, right there. Oh, they're a 
glory. Yeah. There she is right there. What a beautiful, beautiful spider right there. Yeah, we're getting the hell out of here. Score. Oh. Nice, nice bonus tonight, huh? What a nice bonus. I love them. They're glorious. Absolutely adore black widows and jet black high gloss finish. Racing hourglass on the bottom. What a beauty. What a beauty. Here's another weird one here. It's getting really dark now. Let's see over here. You gotta take a look from a distance. This is all rusted out here. This looks pretty clear. summer for widows. Beautiful. Be a glorious, glorious summer. Oh wow, it got really dark. We gotta get on our horse and get out of here. Wait a couple months, uh, pecan baby, till they get nice and fat and really juicy. Get to be about the size of a baseball hanging there. Yeah, I'm getting out of here, Andrew. Definitely, I don't, I'm not here for a glory run to hang out of here. There's the mod, there's the slimatorium there. You can cut across here. I don't like to walk on any graves, so just walk on the perimeter here. It's dry as a bone here. It's crunchy. Plus, this is when the uh, um, the how you call them mountain lions come out, and the lions and tigers and stuff. Wow, it got really dark here. No, I couldn't sleep here. There's too much stuff crawling around here. Snakes and... Yeah, they're coming to get you. You could definitely die in here. You could fall. People have died in here that drink and have drinking parties and fall off the walls and hit their heads on uh, granite. Yeah, I reckon you could have them in here. Yep. And also watch out up in the trees. They'd like to come down on top of you. That wind's starting to howl too. Let's see if, if, are we on the main road or where the hell are we? How come it's always so hard to find the path here? Yeah, we're getting out of here. Wow, did you hear that crackle behind me? This is the worst of the worst of the worst. Yeah, it sounded like somebody was walking behind me. Definitely something in a tree. Let's keep moving. Something real big.
Did you hear that? That was loud. That was something big to jump from branch to branch. And I don't mean like a bat. I mean something with some real amplitude to it. I'm way over here by the man I got a long way to go yeah I'm okay Terry I'm so far away I didn't think I got this far away from the car I'm at the Franklin Avenue entrance. I got to go over all the way over to the McDonald Avenue entrance. Hear that? Something really big in those trees there. I hate to turn my back. What's that? Let's keep moving. I can't. There's no sidewalk there. It's like super dangerous to walk there. Some asshole will hit me in a car. I don't know. Let's move. Something big up in the branches back there. With these wild animals, you don't want to be at dawn and or dusk. That's when most attacks occur. Just when the sun's coming up or going down. Yeah, there's no sidewalk over there. all kinds of dark figures it's just you, you don't have a good line of sight here because these hills are so steep and these valleys are so deep here stay off of the crunchy stuff so we can here, something's behind us. I'm moving that way. Just making sure nothing's coming down on me here. Gotta watch your flank. If you like this one, Christina. This one's been all earthquake chewed up. Oh, there's something over there. The hell is that? Somebody walk into the exit. 
It is, and it's lighter for you guys than it actually is here. This place is haunted as can be. Well, we, we accomplished it tonight. We had that weird view in that, uh, that crypt down there. That coffin was unbelievable. That was a first class job down there. Let me check my battery level. I'm in 100%, so I'm charging. I know I heard something too. Something just darted across right there. Something just something just ran across from uh, west to east, right across the field, right here. Best thing you can do sometimes is just. Stay still and just listen. Because the ground is really dry and crunchy. Dark shot, I saw that right over there on the... Beautiful lanyard. Oh, yes. <sighs> yeah, it's super dark now. Tui. Right, we're going at the McDonald Avenue entrance here. Let's get the van and get something to eat. Oh. Imagine living in this. What a house of horrors this is here.
Imagine a hearse is coming from downtown, right up the fanciest road in town. Horse drawn right up the hill here. Right up the hill and into the cemetery. This is one badass cemetery, this one. Let's go get something to eat. Thank you, Mystery Money Placer. Appreciate it. Two times in a month. Rosie Jolene. Jolene. I hope I didn't get towed. Got a big house over there. Man, what a mansion. This place looks empty here. Yeah, not really much open right now. I kind of had a hankering for pizza, but I reckon that's not going to be open, so. Is this a funeral parlor? Yeah, thumbs up. I appreciate it, guys. We've had another. Still get to enjoy something to eat tonight. Wait. Ooh. Wait. Tomorrow I got a bone up on for my exam on FAA small commercial aircraft. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, fun time tonight. Always a good time. Thank you to uh, a very generous person who makes. Well, just put, let me cross the street, okay? God Almighty! Are you kidding me? Run over me, doofus. All right, let me get the keys off here. Dumbbell almost ran over me. It's always stressful in that cemetery. You think that they would put up some stadium lights or something in there to kind of uh, help people out, right? Yeah, they didn't tell me. Yeah, Rascal's got new front shoes. I got to get some shoes when I go down to Vegas. I stock up on some new Nikes. See how we're gonna get out of here. Let's see McDonald Avenue. We just go down this way, right? Let's see how are we get over here. I don't know. <sighs> yeah, tell any anything that left me, just go away, please. Go back to where you came from. I don't need any spooks or spirits. Down the most beautiful road in town, McDonald Avenue. The strife is o'er, the battle won. Now is the victor's triumph won. La do do do, la da 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 do, hallelujah.
to we need to peel out old hundreds. And I am awesome wonder. La da da do. La do 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 do. And sings my soul, my Savior. How great thou art. How great thou art. La do 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 do. Temperature at game time is 76 degrees, which is unusual. Normally we'd be in the mid 50s, but we're in a bit of a heat zone the last couple days. Right, let's peel out of here and get something to eat. Man, am I hungry. Head right across here, the foot of College Avenue. Take care, Andrew. Good to see you, mate. Have a good one. It is feeding time. I'm trying to think of the fast, best and fastest way to get over here. Doo, doo, doo. No, I haven't eaten. I'm pretty doggone hungry. I don't even know what time it is. It's 9.15. I, I reckon uh, I will be in Vegas for my birthday, yes. Yep. I will be in Vegas for my birthday. Yep. Officially the longest day of the year. And look at this, there's still plenty of light out. What a great night tonight. I'm so damn happy. I'm so bummed out I got a, that FAA examination. I haven't taken an exam in so long. Um, what the hell? Right. Just kind of got a little bummed out. But there's nothing like a little hit money to brighten your day. And all green lights going your way. Look at this. Woo! Right across town. Damn, that doesn't happen. 40 Club. Should stop and have a beer at the 440. Yeah, I got a test because I'm probably going to be monetized and I got to fly my drone legally. So I've got to sit for the exam. And now they're rolling it. Any drone that's used for any commercial purpose. So. I've got to abide by the law. It is what it is. Yeah, I can't believe the green lights tonight. We're just friggin' motoring along here. I've never had a crosstown run like this. You know, it's going to be a good five miles across town. Right past the old Pep Pepsi Cola bottling plant. Wow, I think we just set a new outdoor record tonight. Yeah, there are a lot of illegal, and they're going to get some big ass fines too. And I mean, Ginormous size fines. Not this, not me. I'm not going to have my ass nailed with the fine. 
Yeah, I'm not going to do standalone videos, but I'm going to incorporate them as part of my stories, you know? I have a lot of drone videos. If you go to the front channel page here, you'll see awesome drone videos, and you'll see quite a collection down there. All the way up to flying over the Beverly Hillbillies Mansion in Bel Air, Los Angeles greatest drone video. do anything tomorrow except study. I might sneak out to do some uh, some metal detecting. I really want to go down to Pen Pengrove. I have a feeling that place hasn't been hunted very much. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Yeah, thank you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rosie. Happy birthday to you. Elmer. Got nice stuff from Elmer. Ah, got a nice card from Joey D with the Dutch Brothers uh, gift card. That was wonderful. I love Joey D. And Joey Kane sent me a box from Australia. I know he doesn't want me to highlight all that. Neither of them wants me to uh, mention. Flying drone. Is that flying drones fine only near you? All over America. And it's a good thing you take the course. I mean, it's very intense. You got to go no navigation, latitude, longitudinal, how to, how to plot yourself on a map how to plot your vector of airspeed, how to calculate your g-forces by degrees of bank. All kind of, how to decipher weather maps to know the uh, alpha, uh, alphabet, like alpha, bravo, charlie, delta, echo, Know, all of those, you got to know what all those are. You know, procedure, emergency procedure. If your drone goes out of control and is threatening to go in uh, level D airspace or something, you got to know exactly what to do. Oh, I'll get some onion rings tonight. I'm hungry. I'm eating jack shit today. Yeah. I guess I don't feel like onion rings. I don't know. What? What about the yakety back and have you? Could I get uh, two Junior Jumbo Jacks with extra ketchup, please? Two Junior Jumbo Jacks, extra ketchup, you like it with cheese or no cheese? No cheese, please, and extra pickles. And, um, could I get, um, a Value Diet Coke, please? Value Diet Coke, okay, and then the That should do it, thank, thank you. you. Five ten, you can't beat that. Let's see if I got a dime here. I have a 
five spot here. Let's see. Has everybody got their lights off? Five dollars and ten cents, you can't beat that, huh? Five ten. Five ten. I can fly drones, but I can't fly it as part of my uh, travel videos, which I hope to have eventually monetized, uh, without sitting for the FAA small unmanned aircraft license test. Two hours. Let me tell you, you got to know a lot of stuff when you start to calculate the g-forces at the uh, how many degrees of bank on a plane. Thirty degrees. How many g-forces? Oh, there you go, Nehemiah. Yeah, the phonetic alphabet. Alpha Bravo. That uh, Alpha Bravo. Charlie Delta Echo Zulu Zulu two zero nine or nine or Love a doo ba doo boo Love a doo ba doo boo Cheese of Doom not for me I think all our mass restrictions are now lifted it's up to individual businesses I guess I don't know you had to memorize all the yeah I, I know all the airport codes you got to know it because it has a K at the end of it and you got to know all the airport flight direction runway directions and you have to be able to interpret the uh, weather reports with ceilings and the types of clouds and no I never get cheese Yeah, how can anybody eat dessert though, right? Yeah. <clears throat> well, I like a really sharp cheddar, Kaylee. And I thought beer cheese was quite good. With a nice soft pretzel, I thought that was a, <clears throat> an amazing thing. But for everyday stuff, nah, I'm not a big cheeser. Dessert looks nice. Yeah, I don't know. He's, Bobby used to get sick when he saw that. Well, there's going to be a lot less pecan, baby, if you saw my video this morning. You're going to start to see the rationalization of uh, the service sector. You're going to see a lot of fast food start to close up and service businesses. Bobby's always been skinny, uh, Teresa. He's always been that way. Shit, he'll live forever. Yeah, I just don't like cheese that much, and I like good sharp. I like a blue cheese, and I like a Jarls Harlsberg cheese. Are you an auditory? Here's some of the information you're having to learn and retain in a video. Um, yeah, I'll I'll give a brief. You know, you got to understand how to read a, a you know, an a FAA map. You got to understand how what spaces you can fly into around an airport. They they go up by levels like an upside down wedding cake. And you got to know level. You got to know airspace D, C, B, A. You got to know restricted airspace, prohibited airspace. You got to understand. Uh, calculate the directions of runways, you've got to calculate your approach speed, wind shear, you got to be able to calculate your g-force if you bank a certain number of degrees left or right. 
You gotta understand when a plane is told to circle an airport, it always circles to the left because the pilot can look out of his uh, window for visual. Helicopter circle to the right. Five right, ten. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. All right. That's the uh, two Junior Jumbo Jacks, X Ketchup, X Pickles, and a value duck. Yes, sir. Diet Thank Coke, you. Right? Yes, sir. And a lot of it's how fast the drones legally, how heavy it can be. And... Thank going. you. Just give me one second to just put this away. You want any sauce? No sauce, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Tango, Tango, 8 Victor Charlie, Fort LeMay Chad, so it's, it's a lot of stuff and then you just purge, just puke it all out and you're done, so, they're going to always hit you a couple questions redundant to make sure you really understand the most important key features. Yeah, at my age, it's not easy to be studying all this shit. Is Mike flying a drone right here? Yeah, somebody's got a drone flying right there. Shit, see it in the sky? What the hell? That's what gives the FAA nightmares. In a hood like this. Let's see, man, this guy gave me like 500 napkins here. $20 paid for my food four times over tonight. And these are pretty righteous burgers. Pretty damn well, pretty man damn well built for a buck 79. Delicious for five bucks tonight. We look for a buck seventy nine. I have to say it's a bargain. I've got to be careful here. Nobody comes up and sticks a gun in your face sitting here. Nice. Now i got to find out where the hell they are. And, uh, Jack in the box, their burgers always go down real clean. I should have gotten some onion rings. For five bucks, I don't think you could beat dinner in that. Mm. Let's see what's happening at the food, uh, outdoor food dining here.
That's going to be a library across the street now. Lined up at Taco El Favorito tonight. Camacho Market. Whoa, almost nailed them. Yeah, oh, they gotta. Did they move all those food operations over here now? Yeah, they did. They moved them all over there. Look at that. Unbelievable. Unreal, they moved all of this. I guess this is gonna be a permanent setup now. Yeah, the guy that wanted my phone number, he just, he came running across that uh, parking lot, didn't he? Almost got damn hit. Yeah, it looks like they, uh, they moved the location of this over. Yeah, it used to be in the parking lot, and now they moved it all the way over here for whatever reason. I don't know. I just like looking at that Mexican girl work there. Will you try McDonald's plant-based meat product? Um, yeah, I'll try it. I mean, You know me, Diane, I'll eat, I'll eat pretty much anything. Yeah, if it's cheap, I'll try it. Uh, there'll always be those tables and chairs. Always. White Castle was terrible. So I love this neighborhood. It's always open. It's always like full blast. I felt a little, I had a rough first day.
I got my shot at noon, and I was good till about 10 o'clock at night. And then I started feeling funky, and then got sweaty in the night. Felt like I might have a very tiny fever, which I never get fevers. And then by by morning it was gone. Yeah, you're, it'll pass quickly. Huh. Is that true? Car, we don't have a Carl's Jr. You get a $6 burger on any type for free just by writing a bogus code on the back of their receipt. Huh. You want that response, so. That's the vaccine doing exactly what it was designed to do. Stimulate a response to get all your troops lined up in case a big attack ever comes. How you doing, James? James, why don't you come up to um, Kitchen Stadium one night? <laughs> Hang out. We'll put you in Kitchen Stadium. My casino connection. This virus isn't going to disappear. And the longer it hangs around, the more it's going to take a off virus, off uh, uh, vac. It's going to take an off vaccine turn. Oh well, wow. okay, Jane. I don't know why. It's impossible to keep me home. You know, I got quite the opposite problem. It's a good idea they have all this food in a dedicated area. Smart people are going to continue wearing the mask. <laughs> no, I don't think so, Patricia. No. Oh, look at that mask. Man, 
I love this neighborhood. <clears throat> ah. I'm throwing some of this shit away. There's our kids' playground. I like to hear young chicks on the loudspeakers now. Oh boy. Yeah, we hear you. Good shit. Let's throw some stuff away here. Tomorrow is trash day in the hood. Every day I keep getting these things. We're hiring at the post office. It's the last thing I want to do. This hood is popping. For a Monday night. Woo! This hood is popping. Oh, love this street. Alright. Like a good spot to see. Where'd that truck go? With that really cool setup. Yeah, it's I mean Tuesday for a Tuesday, sorry. Tuesday. It's Tuesday. I stand corrected. I stand corrected. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's been about three hours. It's been another totally epic stream tonight. I'm so excited to once again come away with victory. We found what we needed to find tonight. I don't know how we did it, Cheryl, to just land I had no concept where I was going, and there it was, right there. So I want to thank all of my wonderful moderators. Good night, Shemay, and um, Jody, and everybody else for everything you do. Sharla, Teresa, love you guys. Thank you so much, and if you enjoyed the stream, please share it out. And make sure to hit the uh, like button on your way out. Really helps. Thank you, Rhonda, and everybody. See you tomorrow. And, um, yeah, I'll probably do a video detailing some of the things that are required on that uh, examination. Maybe I'll sneak off and play hooky and do a little bit of metal detecting. I don't know. So, in the meantime, thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful rest of your night. And tomorrow's trash day in the hood. Have a great one. Thank you, everybody.